Um, just tell me your name and designation to start. Yeah, uh, my name is Emmanuel. I'm the managing director and co-founder of Tech Groove Adventure LLP. And tell me about your contribution to the tech industry that's helped you to win your award. Um, so I had been working on a project uh, since my first year of college when I entered. Uh, it was called Epitech, uh, which was basically trying to predict epilepsy. Uh, so <clears throat> we recently uh, we were able to crack down of how, on how to uh, predict epilepsy. So we are basically right now uh, focusing on focal epilepsy. So we are using predictive analysis in order to uh, in order for early monitoring of epilepsy using predictive analysis and also self healing using magnetic field. So this is what we are doing. Um, uh, on board with us uh, is uh, the uh, so basically we are doing this for the Indian Army. So the Indian Army Command Unit Hospital, which is in Bangalore, is also on part with us. So yeah, this is pretty big. So <laughs> yeah, that is one of the reasons why. Uh, Extremely useful and life-changing tech. It's fantastic. So what's next for you? Where do you go from here and how are you hoping to achieve it? So uh, right now we are pretty much done with the whole uh, patent process. We have already kind of filed for it. So we're pretty sure we're going to get it. And once we're done, uh, we are pa basically designing it for the armed forces as of now. So the product would be quite rigid. So which also gives us an, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, gives us an added advantage because tomorrow if we want to open the same product for the public it'll be much uh, usable for the public because anyway if it can be used by an armed army personnel then uh, a normal person can also use so that is the next phase for this apart from this I also have uh, Tech Groove my company also provides carrier accelerator programs uh, which is programs on data science and AI so basically as uh, uh, in one of the keynote speech, uh, they were talking about the uh, big gap between the industry and the academics, which is a lot there in India. So we are trying to address that issue in India and we are trying to create a bridge to that gap. Amazing stuff. And what's your Intercon experience been like so far? It's been great. It's been very, very great. I've uh, been able to meet a lot of new, <laughs> new people. Uh, the main reason why Intercon is a very you know, a uh, great platform is because young entrepreneurs such as me, uh, I would <laughs> want you to guess what my age would be <laughs> because I'm just 22 years old and uh, to be so young and be an entrepreneur, sometimes we are so much uh, empowered by, you know, wanting to be successful that we are, uh, we are a little off track with the vision. So. Intercon kind of provides that platform where I, as a young entrepreneur, can connect with an experienced campaigner and then with a visionary and then the, the whole goal as to why I started the journey becomes fruitful and it is in sync with what we have to do for the society uh, because at the end of the day we have to give back to the society and it's not for the personal gain. So yeah, it's been great. Intercon. That's amazing. So basically, you, it gives you an opportunity to find peers and mentors yes, for yes. what you want to do. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's short. In short, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.